Okay, well, <clears throat> we're driving again, uh, and I blew it. <clears throat> totally missed um, vlogging yesterday. I tried. I tried to vlog yesterday. I have I have an incomplete vlog for yesterday. Um, so Vade is pretty much a wash. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to vlog every day in April uh, this time. Um, what I may try to do instead is just blog frequently this month. Um, but I missed the first six days. <clears throat> I missed yesterday. Uh, it did not turn out to be a successful VEDA for me at all. So, um, rather than try to kill myself and, uh, you know, make up for it or whatever. I mean, I technically I could just do two vlogs today. And be okay in my head with um, <clears throat> my VEDA participation. But I'm not going to do that. Um, what I'm going to do is basically just vlog frequently in April. We'll call it VIFA. <laughs> uh, vlog extra frequently in April. So for VIFA, today <clears throat> I'm going to basically pick up on the topics that I was talking about in yesterday's vlog which was, um, and, and, and add to it. I have basically three musical things I want to talk about today. First of all, <clears throat> I have a colleague who is, <coughs> well, let's see, which order do I want to tackle this in? Okay. I have a colleague who posted on Facebook and I respect this cat in, you know, majorly. Um, but this person posted on their Facebook wall Something to the extent of, um, if you're not working full time, if you're not making music full time and pulling down at least 50% of your income as a musician, and then a whole laundry list of things, like you can't, you know, <clears throat> if you play Brick House, you're not a musician, blah, 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 you're not a musician. If you don't do this, you're not a musician. Um, but, you know, the, the, the rub that I got was if you're not, you know, at least making half your income and supporting yourself as a full-time musician, then you're not a professional musician and you're a hobbyist. And as a hobbyist, it's your duty to basically step down and let the professional musicians do their job and take the rest of the work. Um, <clears throat> which, again, I have mad respect for this person. Um, that's the most ridiculous crock uh, I've ever heard in my life. Um, I've been a musician. I've been a professional musician since I was 15 years old. Meaning that I got paid to make music. Uh, a number of years have gone by and I've continued to make money playing music. Mind you, it's not half my income. Um, because I have a full-time job and that supports me. And if I did quit my full-time job in order to make music full-time and, you know, basically make enough money to where at least half of my income is supporting me, it would be significantly less than what my day job pays me. Uh, you know, unless I got into that, you know, very rare circumstance where I'm a, you know, full-time staff, studio musician, you know, making X amount of dollars or... You know, I'm on the road with, you know, serious name act or serious name, you know, show or whatever. You know, the bottom line is that serious full time musicians that are sustaining themselves on their music all the time, you know, don't make that much money and have to basically live hand to mouth. I'm living hand to mouth as it is with my full time job. Um, and I make more than most full time musicians do. Um, so it, it kind of irked me. There's that, as, there's that aspect of it, the financial aspect of it. There's also the financial aspect or the, the aspect of it that, you know, I've played a lot of fucking notes in my life and I've, I've paid a lot of dues in my life. You know, I played the Apollo. I've opened for James Brown. Now, you know, that kind of shit does not make me a hobbyist. Um, you know, 
just because I'm at a state in my life where I'm not going out every night killing myself until 2 o'clock in the morning, you know, to make maybe 50, 70 bucks, you know, for four or five hours worth of hard work as a musician. And don't get me wrong, you know, you people that are not in the know about fucking musicians, here's the deal. You know, it's not just the four hours that we play on stage. It's, you know, it's the hour before the gig that we set up our gear, you know, the half hour to 45 minutes after the gig where we have to tear down our gig, schlep it to our car, you know, that's like a good six hours right there already, you know, not to mention, you know, time during the week that we take to practice, um, the time that we spent in, you know, school, um, paying our dues, all that time that it took to hone our craft, learn how to be a musician, learn how to make music, learn a sense of ensemble, study theory, learn chord changes, learn licks, learn scales, like all that stuff, you know, and this is where the devaluation, devaluation of the music industry happens because then those of us that have done that, that have paid our dues, that have learned our craft, that have become respectful professional musicians, then go out to a club that, you know, we go out, we play two, three, four hours um, to a room of people that may or may not be there to see us or care about music. Um, and then the owners of the club demand that we bring our group, our tribe out, you know, to spend money on their drinks. And at the end of the night, they don't pay us because, oh, well, you didn't bring enough people, blah, 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 blah. Or, oh yeah, here's your hundred dollar guarantee that you have to split between five people now. So you end up, you know, making $20 on a gig and, and you bought two beers. So you really only made $10. Um, so going back to my colleagues posed. I think, I think those kind of things qualify you as a professional musician more than just being able to say, you know, I'm, you know, I'm so good. I don't have to play brick house in a club or, you know, I make at least 50% of my income playing music full time. Uh, because I know very well this colleague of mine, you know, had a hiatus off of his or her career where they didn't have to or where they didn't play for a while. You know, I'm in one of those stages in my life. I have, I just had a kid. I have, you know, I have a family. I have responsibilities. I have a full-time job. So that prohibits me from going out every freaking night and every weekend and playing my ass off. But I'm still a professional musician. Um, <clears throat> rant over. Uh, where do I get on with my next rant? It's been eight minutes. Um, maybe this does become Veda again because I have, I have a desire to continue this dialogue. Uh, but I'm not going to do it right now because I've gone on for eight minutes. Uh, so that's my rant. Uh, it's early. I'm driving. I'm going to try to make sure that none, you know, not all of my Veda posts are in the car on my way to work. Uh, but I did try to make a, a post last night. I failed. I failed you, fellow Veda followers. Um, but I did want to get that off my chest. I would be curious to see what you guys think. The two people of you that are actually watching this video. Um, I would like to know what your opinion is. If you're a musician, if you're not a musician, how do you feel about the devaluation of the music industry? Um, do you feel that musicians are tradesmen? Do you feel that, um, you know, musicians who have a full-time day gig that aren't playing you know, music 24 seven and making their living off of music. Do, do they count as musicians? Uh, I would be curious to know what you think about that. So please, um, either comment, uh, on the YouTube, uh, page or comment on my Facebook page or send me a Twitter message or something. Um, but I'd be curious to know what you guys think. So, um, wrapping up my VIFA post, uh, see you guys in a bit late.